fractions practice. Equivalent fractions. Are these two fractions equivalent? Do they have the same value? In order to compare them, we have to have like denominators. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the 4 into twelfths, the fourths into twelfths, by multiplying by 3 in the denominator and the numerator. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 was 12, so 3 fourths can be rewritten as 9 twelfths, so in fact, these two are equivalent. Are 5 tenths and 2 fourths equivalent? In this case, what we could do is we could even simplify both of those fractions by dividing the numerator and denominator both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 5 tenths simplified is 1 half. 2 fourths is simplified is 1 half. Are they equivalent? I put the equal sign in between them, and I write yes. Again, in order to compare them, we have to have like denominators. Here I have 3 fourths and 8 twelfths, and I recognize again that I can get from 4 to 12 by multiplying by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, so 3 fourths is really equal to 9 twelfths, and then so 3 fourths does not equal 8 twelfths because 9 twelfths does not equal 8 twelfths. So in other words, I would write no for whether or not those are equivalent. 2 fifths and 8 twentieths, I again recognize that I can get from 5 to 20 by multiplying by 4 in both the numerator and denominator. So 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 4 is 20, so 8 twentieths does equal 8 twentieths, that is 2 fifths does equal 8 twentieths, that those two are equivalent. Here the instructions say to write an equivalent fraction. And then so for the first fraction here, 3 sevenths, what I can do is I can multiply the denominator and numerator by anything I want. So for instance by 4. 3 times 4 is 12, 7 times 4 is 28. So I've made an equivalent fraction. 3 sevenths does equal 12 twenty-eighths. Same thing for the other fraction here, 12 fifteenths. I could either multiply the numerator and denominator by whatever it is that I want, or I could even divide and write this back into simplest form. And then so I could divide by, let's see, 3 in the numerator and denominator. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. There would be more than one answer possible. In other words, as long as we did the same thing in the numerator and denominator, we could have multiple equivalent fractions. 12 fifteenths does equal 4 fifths does equal 8 tenths. Here I have two equivalent fractions where I'm asked to figure out that numerator. How did I get from 7 to 35? Looks like I would have multiplied by 5. So the same thing must be true in the numerator as well. 3 times 5 is 15, so that 3 sevenths does equal 15 thirty-fifths. For 14 eighteenths equaling how many ninths? 18 to 9, I would have had to divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 equaling 9. So doing that same thing in the numerator, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that 14 eighteenths equals 7 ninths. Here are two final problems where you're asked to write an equivalent fraction. The first one you're going from 30 seconds to force, so you're going to divide by 8 in the numerator and denominator. 16 divided by 8 is 2, so 16 30 seconds is equal to 2 fourths. 12 30 thirds equals how many elevenths? 33 to 11, it looks like you divide by 3. So doing that same thing in the numerator, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that 12 30 thirds equals 4 elevenths. Where we say that 12 30 thirds and 4 elevenths are equivalent fractions.